Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are flying from Rio to country number 14, Paraguay. So I've been in Rio for the past three weeks, just relaxing, seeing family, working. And with Thanksgiving coming up, my company gave me two days off next week. I thought I'd take the other three off to just take my time traveling somewhere new and it's my goal to visit every country in the world and south america has a lot of crazy beautiful countries that i definitely want more time to see in the future so i thought i'd see paraguay for now because it's easy to see within a week so today i'm wrapping up my work day right now and i'm gonna get an uber soon to the airport and i'm going to fly to sao paulo where i will stay overnight before my flight to asuncion Paraguay's capital tomorrow morning. I made it to São Paulo or Garudos, I guess. I'm like, uh, Guarulhos. I don't know. And I will be here overnight until my flight tomorrow morning. I'm trying to like set up my phone. I have to be up pretty early tomorrow. I want to leave here. I think the shuttle is at 7 a.m. It is almost 1 a.m. now. So I'm not going to sleep too much, but I opted to get a hotel because my options were to either sleep in the airport, like on a chair or on the floor or something. And I've done that before. <laughs> And yeah, this year I've just had so many like low-key miserable <laughs> times like staying overnight in various spots. So there was also the option to go maybe stay with um, one of my family members here in Sao Paulo, but it would have been an hour to get there and I'm arriving late and leaving early. So I just like didn't want to bother anyone. I thought I'd get this hotel nearby the airport. It was maybe $50 a night. It's Slavero um, Guarulhos. So far, I'm really liking this room. Let me show you guys around a little bit. So I entered through this door. Here's my key. And then this is the little nightstand. This bed is actually pretty big. Let me, like, hold on. I want you guys to see, like, how big it is compared to me for reference. Like, I have a lot of space. Then I guess there's this TV, a fridge. There are also snacks on this table, which looks nice. I don't know about the view. Yeah, not a crazy view, but whatever. Here's a little closet, mirror, safe, and I don't know, if you wanna hang stuff up, bathroom. That tour is a little bit disorganized, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just tired and like out of it, I need to sleep. I will check in with you guys tomorrow when I fly to Asuncion. Good morning, guys. Doing some last minute packing. I woke up a little later than expected, like an hour later, so nothing crazy. But I am missing the shuttle I wanted to get, which sucks, so I have to get an Uber. Packing up my laptop and stuff, and then ready to go. <laughs> I have so much to talk about. Oh my gosh. Starting off with Guarulhos. The lounge at the airport was really nice. I went to the Gold Premium Lounge and I went to the international one this time since I was flying international and it was way better than domestic. Loved it. Got to my flight, all was well. I slept for a bit. There was food but I didn't eat it. Made it to Asuncion safe and sound, quick. No delays, it was all great. And then I got here, I got an Uber. I also got cash. Um, that was easy to do as well. Oh, and the whole like just entering the country process was nice. I'm in mean, my hostel, I checked in. I'm really liking it. The girl here who's like working, she um, is like a traveler too, and just like gave me all these recommendations, got me all settled in. And it's like a nice, it has nice vibes. This is El Nomada Hostel in Asuncion. It's, I think it was $13 for the night, which 
Again, isn't bad, you have to pay with cash when you arrive, so make sure you have cash. That's why I got cash at the airport. Now that I'm all settled in, I'm gonna go walk around the city. I'm gonna get lunch first because I'm a little hungry. It's also super hot. It is like 90 degrees, so I bought some water, which was less than a dollar. <laughs> gonna go walk around the city and see what happens. I'm in Plaza Uruguaya. I haven't done much today since I left the hostel. I walked to this popular restaurant here called Bolsi. Um, I saw it recommended online on blogs and stuff. And then when I got to the hostel, um, I was talking to the girl who like worked there and she was like, I was like, oh, I'm hungry. Is there anywhere that's good and cheap? And she was like, yeah, well, there's this restaurant, Bolsi. And I was like, okay, I know it, so I'm gonna go there. And I went there and it was super busy, um, lots of options. I ended up having stroganoff and passion fruit juice and I loved it. It's a very Brazilian meal, but whatever. There's like this market going on in the square near it. And I was looking around for a flag patch because I like to collect them and sew them onto my backpack and I found one, so I'm super happy about that. Now I'm just chilling in the square. They said there's lots of bookstores and there are like literally within the square books are being sold. People are just chilling here. Um, it's also a really hot day and the streets are really empty. I'm not sure if it's because it's hot, it's a weekend or it's a residential area. I don't know or if it's a combination of the three, but yeah, walking around, I don't feel unsafe, which is good. Um, but it's also eerie because it's so quiet. From here, I just want to go check out another place in the city and then get my sim card and then probably go back to the hostel chill out swim and yeah see what happens <laughs> It is a bit later now. I'm walking back to the hostel, almost there. Um, I feel a bit delirious from the heat and I think also lack of sleep. Um, but yeah, it is really hot out and my body is exhausted, I think, from just regulating my temperature. So I need to get back right now and jump in the pool. Since I last vlogged, I'm in Encarnacion, but let's rewind back to Asuncion. So I was planning on just staying in and chilling that night, but I made friends and one of them, she's volunteering at the host hostel. She mentioned that there was this night museum night thing where these buses take you around for free to different museums around the city, which are also free to enter. So a group of five of us went and rode around the city and went to all these different museums. It was really interesting. But then it was starting to get late. It ended up midnight and it was at like 11.30 and we were hungry and just wanted to sit down and um, just chill. So we got food, we sat down and just talked for a while, went back to the hostel and chilled and slept. And yeah, that was my night. Um, very nice and relaxing, great to talk to new people. And then I woke up pretty early the next morning and then there was like a new group of people talking at breakfast. So then I sat down and like we were all just talking for hours. And I was planning on coming to Encarnacion earlier today, but I stayed in Asuncion for until like the early afternoon, which is when I went to the bus station and got the bus here. Pretty good experience, smooth ride. I did not get the direct bus. There are direct buses, but I was on the local one that made a bunch of stops. Overall, first impressions of Paraguay, loving it. The people I'm meeting, I mean, they're all travelers, but it's Great vibes, everything's just super chill. That's it for Asuncion and I guess arriving in Encarnacion. 
and I can't wait to see what else I get up to around here. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.